Hello again, uh, this is part 3 of my uh, Colt 1917 restoration video. Uh, I've degreased all of the parts using this gun scrubber, okay, and then I'm applying this American rust blowing solution um, that I bought at Midway, I think. Um, so I've applied it, uh, put the parts into a bathroom, which I'll show you right now, and let them sit for one hour and then I took them out and uh, reapplied the solution and let them set for another two hours and uh, as you can see I was just using a kind of a glass bowl and uh, just cotton cotton balls uh, soaked in the solution and uh, squeezed out to just leave just a little bit damp basically damp cotton balls and yeah, I plugged up the bore. So that's that. Okay. And here's the side plate. And the cylinder and the crane are all rusting well. There's the latch. I don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, it's really uh, it's really humid in here and uh, hot because of this water. The water is hot, and uh, they've been sitting in here for about two hours with the closed door and uh, fan wasn't going. So uh, just to keep that moisture in. So yeah. Uh, right now I'm going to boil the parts in distilled water and I'll show you what they look like after I take them out and uh, I'll here are the carving. parts after okay. first boiling first application of classic rust uh, blue slow rust blue I guess and uh, rusting and then boiling the parts again I know my camera doesn't like uh, white background so uh, I think it's gonna look shitty but I'll try to show you anyway okay and uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to um, card the velvet uh, rust that formed on the surface and reapply the solution I'll show you what it looks like after the second application and then after I apologize I forgot to show you the carding of the first coat after it was boiled and uh, this right now is a uh, second coat second application and the parts are staying black I'm going to uh, let them sit or let them hang for um, probably much longer than uh, than the initial three hours so until they develop a red, uh, red rust on them. So yeah, once again, um, that tub is simply filled with water. Okay, uh, kind of hot. So that's the way I'm going to continue doing this. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it develops and red rust. It's just starting to develop a red coat and it's been about two and a half hours so um, I'm gonna let it sit another 30 minutes or so and then boil the parts you can tell the red coat right there developing see that that's good news so I'll boil this it'll turn black I'll card it and then apply another coat and according to instructions uh, it'll take longer and longer for red rust to develop um, because the steel is getting more and more protected so i fully expect that maybe the next coat is going to take four uh four hours to develop red rust and if you i assume if you don't see red rust uh, there's no point in boiling it because uh, you need to wait for red rust to develop because that's the sign of uh, converting so, or bluing. 
So yeah, just taking it slow. It's a time-consuming process, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like um, <clears throat> through third, fourth, and possibly fifth and sixth. Just uh, look at how these parts change color when they're submerged in uh, in boiling distilled water. Hopefully, you can sell. It came in bright red or red uh, rusty looking color and now see how it turns black. Let's do another one. Here comes the cylinder, red. This is real time too, so you will see how fast the reaction takes. Oh, don't want to fog up the camera. See that? Turning black right before your eyes. Let's do another. The parts have been carded. Uh, this is after the third coat. And it hasn't been oiled yet. But that's what it looks like. As you can see, the parts are taking on color uh, nicely, I think. <clears throat> and I will continue working on this and trying to get it uh, even darker.